This might look like everyday decorating, but it is in fact a scientific experiment to check the energy efficiency of new insulation materials. What are the advantages and disadvantages of these materials, and how and where can they be used? Around half of Europe's buildings were built before 1975. Beautiful as some of them may be, they can hide an ugly reality. These buildings were built at a time when energy parameters like efficiency, consumption and emissions were not a top priority. So there's a strong need to transform and update the thermal performances of Europe's architectural heritage. It's time to innovate new systems to retrofit these buildings with energy efficiency in mind. Scientists from a European research project have developed new insulation materials to make all buildings more energy efficient in their facades, wall cavities and interiors. Here is a guided tour of the new materials. Uh, this is uh, insulation material made mainly uh, out of three layers of polyester fibres. They are uh, supposed to have the highest thermal insulation. Here we have the next material. As it has only one layer of uh, aerogel containing uh, polyester fiber, and it has two textiles on both sides. Now this is the third material. This is the cheapest one, made of uh, perlite, and it is thicker because perlite has a higher thermal conductivity. <laughs> Researchers have tested these materials in a building of the Politecnico di Milano University in Italy. It was built in 1965. The inner walls of one room were covered with sensors and fitted with three prototypes of insulation materials. The sensors measure temperature, humidity and heat flow at three different places. Outside the building, that's why we have sensors installed on the facade, and the cavity walls, and finally on the inner surface of the walls. Outside, sensors also measure radiation and wind speed. This way we're able to see how much heat leaks from the different materials in the building. All the data will help us build a mathematical model that will allow us to understand how each material reacts to different climatic conditions. So, how will these insulation materials eventually come onto the market? This company makes prefabricated kits for retrofitting exterior facades. Insulation materials developed by researchers will be included in some of these kits, which can be customised. The market is ready for these solutions, provided they come at a competitive price, the company believes. In recent years, we've seen data that seems to prove that the market for retrofitting facades and existing buildings is indeed on the rise. So we're quite optimistic about the market prospects for these new insulation materials. Researchers hope their new insulation solutions could become an affordable market reality in around four or five years.